This is Bruce Graphics Empire. Take a look at gold. So yesterday may have been a false breakdown in gold. We'll have to see what happens next. But you can see how yesterday we broke through the trend line and the 50 period moving average. And we closed near the lows of the day. So that was pretty bearish. Now today we have a counter trend rally intraday. But what's interesting is it got back above both of these lines. And notice how the two lines are converged. That makes that pivot area potentially more significant, whether we break down or we break up. So now we're on track. We're not closed yet, but gold is on track to close above the 50, which is a 2018. If it does that, that will be a minor bullish indication that could lead to further uh, highs. But we won't know that until we get above yesterday's high of 2033. That would really be needed before anything really changes. This is just a short-term indicator saying, hey, maybe this is a false breakout just to flush out some of the weak holders before gold attempts to continue higher. That we will have to see. Of course, today's high and today's low is going to be the closest nearby key price level to keep an eye on. A break below the low puts this yesterday's low at risk of being busted, 2002. If that happens, we first head to the 1987 level, which completes an, a falling ABCD pattern. If it keeps going from there, then we got the 50% retracement down here, which matches this previous swing low at 1973. And if it gets down that far, I I would imagine that's probably going to test the 200 moving average, this blue line down here around 1963-1964. On the upside, we've got a bunch of resistance, so let's see more strength before we talk more about that. That is it for gold traders. Have a great Friday.